Blackmagic has announced a number of products, including the ATEM Television Studio HD8 switchers and the Blackmagic Studio Camera 6K Pro. The switchers feature broadcast-grade control panels with advanced features such as streaming and recording, and the studio camera features an EF lens mount, a larger 6K sensor for improved color remedy, and fine detail handling, ND filters, and built-in live streaming. So Mary, talk to me about the switchers. All I can say is, wow. I mean, they have thought of everything on this. I love it. It's portable, so it has a lot of flexibility as to where it could be used. It's got eight SDI inputs. It has four chroma keys. It's got chalk a block of a lot of other features as well. What's also cool though, is that it has streaming capabilities, talkback capabilities, and I'm very intrigued by their option for internal cloud storage. I thought that was a, a, a little unusual to say internal cloud storage, but um, it is a, a wonderful feature to have. Now, what is also, it, it's, everyone should always read the manual. That's, that goes without saying, but wow, when I started looking at this, I thought I could easily start running that immediately. And that's certainly something that they promote, how easy it is to use. This has so many applications outside of broadcast. It can be used, first of all, for OB bands, but for sports, for corporate, that is, I think, underrated as, to how easy this would be for people in the corporate world to use, and certainly for education, college stations, anything like that, small um, TV studios. It really has just so many capabilities. The one thing, Philip, I'm really curious to ask you about is I don't have experience with their cameras. What's what's your feeling about those new products? So. You know, they, they've actually really done a lot with their cameras. They started their, I think their first cameras are called the pocket cinema cameras. And those are pretty amazing little sort of 35 millimeter like uh, cameras that really shot cinematic content. It, it shot in DNG raw um, and they just sort of grown it from there. And they've, they've had some hits and some misses with the cameras, but I think in their studio line, they're really gauging it toward, just like the, the switcher itself, they're bringing professional level capabilities to the masses. Um, you wanna have more people who are eventually producing content. We have more places to consume content. We gotta make it easy to create content and the content has to be done in a professional manner. And like you said, on that switcher, it's very easy to use. You go, you go into, and I've been into a lot of studios, and you see that massive switcher with the 10,000 buttons on it, and you're just sort of like, I have no idea how this is going to work. And this is a very clean uh, way of producing content. And I just think it's, you know, that com combined with the ability to control the cameras in there really makes it easy for small operations to create very, very professional-looking content. 